Hi everyone, this is part 38 of ASP.NET. In this video, we will discuss about how to perform select operation and insert operation within the Tritio control. In the last videos we discussed about uh, how to uh, perform editing operation and deleting operation. But in this video, we will discuss about how to perform select operation. So here I will try to open the old example. Here I will try to take one grid view control. And here outside the grid view, within the grid view, I will try to right click on the grid view, go to properties. Here I set the property auto generate select button is equal to true. Then automatically a select button is displayed within the grid view. And outside the grid, I will take some text boxes. And the IDs for the text boxes you observe here. Text box 4, text box 5, text box 6. Because internally in the grid view, you have edit item template will occupy the text boxes 1, 2, 3. That is why you got the IDs 4, 5 and 6. So whenever user clicks on select button, then selected index changed event will fire. Is it clear? So I need to catch the row index. How to catch the row index is only the main part actually. Whenever user clicks on select button, catch the row index. Where user clicks on select button, catch the values that are available within that particular row, display the values in the text boxes. That is my requirement. So here, uh, in order to catch the row index, the syntax will change from one example to another example. Especially when you perform deleting operation and editing operation, in order to catch the row index, we will use e dot row index property. But uh, now in uh, selected index changed, if you want to catch the row index, there is one property called selected row. You can use that one. So here you can write something like grid view row, row is equal to, here I'll write right, grid view one dot, uh, selected row, that's it. There is one property called selected row. The main task in uh, grid view is how to catch the row index. That is only the main important part. So selected row is a property, it is used to catch the selected row. Which whenever user clicks on select button, we need to catch the row index. In order to catch the row index, you have one property that is selected row. Now catch the controls that are available within that particular row. Is it clear? And you need to catch the label controls actually. So here we already have the IDs of the label, label one, label two, and what? Label three. So what I will try to do, here I'll try to write something like label L1 is equal to uh, here I will try to, try to uh, apply the upcasting. Control C1 is equal to row dot find control. Row dot find control of label 1. And I will try to do downcasting. Label L1 is equal to label of C1. This is here I have written two lines of code to do downcasting. If you want you can write in a single line also. Label L2 is equal to label of. Label L2 is equal to label of, here I'll try to write row dot, find control of, here I'll try to give label 2. Similarly, here I'll try to give label L3 is equal to label of, row dot, find control. Row dot, find control of, label 3. Row dot, find control of, label 3. Okay, na? This is label 1, this is label 2, this is label 3. So now I got I got all the values. Now I want to display these values in the text boxes. So text box four dot text. Here I'll try to go. Text box four dot text is equal to L1 dot text. Similarly, text box five dot text is equal to L2 dot text. Similarly, text box six dot text is equal to L3 dot text. Is it clear? So I'm trying to Whenever user clicks on uh, select button, I want to catch the values or display the values in the text boxes. Press F5 and check the output. So in row deleting event and row updating event, if you want to catch the row index, we have to use E dot row index. But in selected index change the event, if you want to catch the row index, you have to use selected row property. So here the data is displayed in the grid view. Whenever user clicks on select button, that particular selected values are displaying in the text boxes. This is how you can work. Cast the row index in select button by using selected row property. Now I want to perform inserting operation within the grid view. In the grid view, this is called as header row. This is called as footer row. Zitler, within the footer row, what I want to do, I want to keep some text boxes here. I want to keep some text boxes in the footer row and I want to keep one button, save button. So 
so we have different types of templates you know we already discussed in the last class did you conserve what columns columns conserve what template fields template field one template field two template field three template field conserve item template edit item template and footer template if you want to enable the footer template what you have to do means here you can see Zitler, select the grid view select the ellipse button edit templates here you can see the column name you are customizing the grid view here you can see the footer template is it clear here go to your toolbox drag and drop on text box control in footer template right click on footer template uh, right click on the text box go to properties and here the id for the text box i'll give as txt mp number something like this and similarly here select column one select column one here also you can see footer template here also you can drag and drop one more text box okay now ids you can change actually because you will not confuse go to right click on the properties text box id txt ename similarly select column 2 column 2 here you can select and there you can see footer template and here you can drag and drop on text box control and one button control and here that id for the text box i'll try to give as txt txt emp cell txt emp cell and here the text for the button i'll try to give as save something like this okay now this is my design actually so now select the grid view ellipse button end template editing then you can see here footer row text boxes are available you can see your Facebook comment box when you type any comment, it will display on the top. These all are footer templates only. Go to your source code, there you can see. Here you have uh, template field, there you have edit item template, and here you have uh, footer template and item template. I have given the IDs now txt mp number, txt e name, txt salary. Is it txt mp sal? So now, whenever user clicks on button and write the code, so go to your uh, design window here what to do select the grid view uh, edit templates there you can see uh, here uh, column 2 footer template double click on button and write the code double click on button and write the code so here you can see now i have to cast the values let us see here i'll try to cast the values there is one property called footer row main target is to catch the row index if you want to catch the row index on in uh, delete when user clicks on delete button row deleting event will fail edit button row editing event will fail when you if you want to catch the row index when user clicks on select button selected row property you have to use selected row if you want to catch the row index in uh, um, which one footer template you have to use footer row so i'll try to write something like this grid view one dot um grid view row here i'll try to write grid view row row is equal to row is equal to grid view one dot footer row is it clear it is used to cache the footer row now i want to cache the controls so row dot find the control of here i'll try to give something like txt emp number Okay, here I'll try to give txt mp number. I'll try to give. Are you following? Row dot find the control of. If you want to see the IDs, you can see. Go to the source code. Here you can see the ID is what txt e number, eh? emp number. Okay, here you can see. Return type is what? Text box. Directly, if you want to apply down casting in single line, you can write like this. Here, text box of something like this similarly two three here i'll try to give txt e name txt e name is it clear txt mp number next txt e name next txt emp cell txt emp cell something like this here i'll try to give txt emp cell t1 t2 t3 this is also down casting without up casting directly we are doing down casting both are same 
now i want to insert the record in the table create the connection sql connection con is equal to new sql connection of configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string and then open the connection con dot open of and then pass the query sql command is cmd is equal to new sql command of query comma con execute the query cmd dot execute non query and close the connection con dot close off are you following everyone and here i will try to pass the query here what is the query string query is equal to you can write the insert query insert into emp values of single code double code plus here i'll try to give text txt t1 t1 dot text comma single code double code plus here i'll try to give t2 dot text here comma single code double code plus here i'll try to give t3 dot text something like this now here you can pass the query comma con pass the query comma con execute the query and finally fill data yes sir no so after inserting the record and within the grid view only you are inserting the record when you insert the record in the text boxes then automatically display in the top with the grid view see here i will try to insert 104 james and here i will give 21000 click on save button is it i think i applied paging that is the reason here you can see 104 105 ajay 23000 Customization of grid view control that is only very important. Select similarly 106 Arun 32000. Click on save. Like this, you can customize the grid view control. Is it clear? For more videos, try to subscribe to this channel.